Greetings K9 crew, welcome back to a Unity tutorial. This time, this one's going to be a much simpler and quicker way to optimize your avatar for quests. Now, in my previous tutorial of putting avatars to quests, I used a ghostly model and I literally showed you how to do it all manually without any quest plugins. But, someone recently just sent me a VRT quest tool plugin, which I will leave a link to in the description below. What that does is it basically does all the hard work for you. Texture compression, material swaps, uh, makes the copies the materials for you, and you don't even have to open a new Unity Unity package in order to do this. I remember in my last tutorial uh, a year and a half ago, I completely opened a completely different Unity package just to do this. But no, you don't have to do that either. I'm going to keep this tutorial very quick and very simple. So this here is your avatar. I'm going to skip the whole upload process of the PC version itself, so if you don't know how to do that, I recommend finding a tutorial on uploading your avatar in general. So, uh, I'm just going to start off with, I'm just going to start off with, uh, getting the VRC Quest tool. So once you download the VRC Quest tools from the description, you're going to just drag it into your Unity package. I know, easy, right? Click Import. So now that VRC Quest Tools is here, if you see something about um, as ASTC texture compression or whatever, just X that out. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. So, what you're going to do, make a duplicate of your avatar. I suggest moving it over. So here's the duplicate. Here's the PC. In order to remember this, you can rename it Quest. And create a new scene drag it in there and if I did that too fast it's just right click on or click on the three dots add new scene if I did that too fast sorry <laughs> so once you have your duplicated version in a new scene you can save this scene and rename it quest I already have one so don't do what I'm doing I'm just gonna make a duplicate quest version so then what do you want to do is click VRC quest tools convert avatar for quest and make sure to drag and drop the duplicated the duplicated avatar into into the box up there. You will see a bunch of errors. It says avatar uses unsupported shaders. This tool will automatically generate new materials with the VR chat supported shaders. So all you have to do now is hit convert. So after that was done, which will take a little bit of time, you will get this message that pops up saying avatar name has been converted for quest test your avatar such as facial expressions and upload it for android platform by using same blueprint id as pc version if you don't know what blueprint id is it's basically the avatar um thing right here this little code right here um when you uploaded the pc version your avatar will generate a code what you're going to do is copy that code and put it onto the quest version if it's not already already there but if you upload the PC version before doing this, then you don't have to do that. So this message might pop up after that says avatar dynamic components exceed poor limits, very poor. Please keep poor rating by removing them. And so I do recommend doing this. Um, if you have any dynamic bones or fizz bones that you think you don't need or, or are not necessary for the quest version, just take them off. Just uncheck them. So I mainly like to keep the hair fizz bone, tail fizz bones, tongue doesn't really matter, ears matter, whiskers don't matter, and dynamic floppy dog ear. Mm, for the quest version, it's not needed. Fizz bone colliders, um, yeah, keep those on. They should be fine. All right, so then once you're done with your selection, um, the unchecked ones will be deleted. So once you do that, delete unselected components, and you're good from there. Now, as you can see, the shaders look different from the PC version. The materials were converted to the VR chat shaders. Now, if the shaders look a little bad on your avatar, you can always change them, but just make sure to keep it under the VR chat folder of shaders. Because if not, then uh, other shaders are not supported by the Android build of VR chat, which is the Quest version. So, uh, once you have your designated quest version, you are going to go up to File, Build Settings, Android, and then just click Switch Platforms. 
Now this process will take some time, so just be patient. It usually for me takes up to um, a full three minutes if you're doing it for the first time. But um, once after that, switching to PC and Android usually takes up, up to like a minute. So it's not always going to take this long. But if you have any new material that you added that you added into the Unity package during the PC build, it will take some time to convert to the Android build. So just be patient. That's all you need to do. All right. So once it's on the Android build, you're going to click on the three dots on your PC scene and click remove scene. Now this doesn't get rid of your PC version completely. It just gets rid of the unneeded scene that we're not using. So if you ever want to find that scene again, just go under here or wherever your PC scene was when you got your base model or something. And it'll be it'll still be in that de designated spot. Oh yeah, I should save that. And it'll be right there. And the scene that you generated for your quest version will be under the assets right here. So and now to upload, and I'm pretty sure you guys know how to upload, but just in case you don't know, I'll show you. VRChatSDK, show control panel, and as you can see, our blueprint is on and everything. A uh, bunch of errors because Quest version isn't, isn't as strong as PC version, but that's okay. Um, I do not recommend uploading an avatar with uh, over 100,000 polys on the Quest version. Usually the easiest part to optimize your avatar a little more for the quest version is go to convert avatar for quest and instead of texture size limit being max 1024 put it down to 512 it may look a little low res but it's definitely worth it if you want people on quest to know what your avatar is at least it won't look too bad but it's worth it if you want to get a like high resolution 4k textured avatar to quest all you have to do really now is just hit build and publish for android and your avatar will be cross-platform and all platforms will see it pc and quest so thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you run into any issues just ask in the comments i will do my best to answer them and i hope you guys have an amazing day happy creating and i'll see you all in the next one